I used to hate Monday mornings. Every time I would get to work on Monday, I would sneak around so nobody would see me. And every time my boss would catch me. Hey, Mattia, could you update your slides, your charts and your tables with last week's data? I need them for the presentation in 15 minutes. Round nine. That would be great. Okay. If this ever happened to you, stick around and I'll show you how you can make it to your team's morning coffee, but still deliver for your boss. All with a simple Excel trick known as data. But before we even start doing anything in PowerPoint, we have to prepare our data in Excel. And I probably don't have to tell you this, but it's very important how you prepare your data in Excel. So really try to have data from sources that you can easily refresh or get new data from. Anything like cubes, your DVH, maybe even Power Query would be great options. For this demonstration, I've made a dummy table that will return random values when I recalculate the formulas. And this will now act as our automatically updating data source. Welcome to Zebra Farms. Here at Zebra Farms, we have a lot of zebras and they eat a lot of fruit. And this is what we want to see on our slides. So the fruit consumption from our zebras. And we can see here that we already have the table with different types of fruit just like the one that we had in Excel. But now, if we look at it a little bit more closely, we can see that this is only a picture. All right, but now we want to make it into a link. We want to make it magical. We want to make it so that it will automatically update every time our data in Excel also updates. All right, let me go and open up Excel and PowerPoint side by side so you guys can see better exactly how the magic happens. Okay, so now we have Excel and PowerPoint open at the same time so we can get a better understanding of exactly how linking works. First, we're going to delete the previous picture of a table and we are going to go back into Excel and choose the data range of our table. We are going to copy this data range and go back into PowerPoint, clicking anywhere on the slide, navigating up to paste and opening the drop down menu navigating to paste special and then to paste link and choose Microsoft Excel worksheet object as our selection. Navigate over to OK and BAM! We have our table. All right, so we did all the hard work. Now it's time to see how it works. Okay, welcome back to our side by side view. And as you can see, I've already updated my table once in the meantime. Don't let that confuse you. We'll look at it, how the link works in real time right now. So, okay, let's just say it's next week and we have to update our data. We simply come up here and we're going to change the title to week three, press enter. And as you can see, like magic, the table on the PowerPoint slide already reflects all the changes that we made in Excel. Okay, now we're gonna do a data refresh as well. So I'm just gonna refresh the formulas, but you guys act like you're refreshing, you're refreshing your data source and bam, all the numbers change and everything is linked perfectly together. All you have to do now is save the presentation and you're ready to go and present it to your boss. All right, we did great. We now have a fully functioning data linked table to Excel that is refreshable with a click of a button. However, linking a table to PowerPoint is not the best situation or the best thing to do in the real world. Let me explain. All right, to try to explain this the best, I will take you guys back into side by side view. And what we're gonna do now is make a real world scenario and I'm gonna show you where linking this data may not be the best option. All right, so first of all, just like we said, it's next week again, and we have to update our table. So we come here, we're gonna write week four, everything is gonna be shown as well on PowerPoint like we, we did before, update our data, and that's it. Everything works, perfect. But there's been one change in week four. In week four, we've decided to also order pineapple 
okay, for the zebras to eat. It's very good for their teeth and it makes them look very shiny, their fur is shiny and they feel very good after, after eating pineapple, so that's what we did. Okay, so this in the real world would automatically refresh and pineapples would just be as an added row at the end of our data table, but I'm gonna have to add it manually, okay? So, pine pineapples, we got some pineapples and let's say that they ate 135 kilos of them. Of course, Excel automatically uh, finished the formula for me, so that's very cool. But all right now, um, as you can see, I've added the pineapples right here, but they're not showing in PowerPoint. So they are here, but they're not in PowerPoint. This can be a big problem, especially if you have something like a dimension that changes a lot. Let's say, I don't know, a time series or anything. Um, if this is a weekly report, maybe you'd also have a dimension of weeks here. Uh, so this would not actually be a very good option for you. However, you say, Mattia, there is an option to update the link manually as well. Yeah, and let's try that as well. So if we go here and we see that we have this option of update link, if we click it, nothing happens. This is because when we link a data table from Excel to PowerPoint, we have to show it exactly what are the dimensions of the table and they always stay the same. So when we first link the table, we only linked the first 10 rows in Excel and those 10 rows will always be linked, but any additional will not show. In other words, this means that every time we get a new row of data, we would have to go and redo the link. This means that we haven't really automated anything, we just made more work for ourselves. All right, and just as a side note, I really dislike the way link object works in Excel, so that's not gonna be an option that we talk about today. Maybe in the next video. The second, and probably even more important, is that at a presentation, you really want to show people your message and not just show them the data, right? So for this reason, linking a table doesn't make sense. Nobody in the room is going to care enough if you only have a table on your presentation screen. Ain't nobody got time for that. A chart would probably be better for that. And with the knowledge that we just gathered from linking a table, let's go into Excel and make a more real world scenario with a chart. Welcome back to Excel. I've moved to the next sheet and what we have here is again a data table which now also includes a time dimension and this time dimension will change every week when a new row of data is added. On the right we have a chart. This chart is also connected to this table and the good thing is that this chart will reflect any change that happens in this table. So let's say that it's week 9. And what happens if, is we update the table and we get new week 9 data. Bam! And the chart reflects this change in the table. Hi, Mattia from the future here. Just letting you know that the chart will only show new data if you have it connected to a pivot table or a table object in Excel. So you could also make it from a range, but that wouldn't be optimal because then you would have to go and manually add the new data to the chart. Just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Now we can use this to go into PowerPoint and even further automate our presentation. Let me go and open them up side by side so you can see exactly how it works. Let's link the chart. So the steps are exactly the same as they are with our table. We will choose the slide, copy it, click anywhere on the slide deck, expand paste options, paste special, paste this link, Microsoft Excel chart object and then OK. And now we can see that we have our beautiful chart right here in PowerPoint ready to be used. OK. But will it now reflect all the changes like we showed before? Let me just copy this week 8 data down and... Ah, there we go. You are a wizard now, Harry. <laughs> a data wizard, but a wizard nonetheless. And you know what else is magical? Well, it's us, Zebra BI, of course. And now let me show you how we do data linking. So an awesome feature is that you don't even have to open up Excel to link your data. 
First, just go to my add-ins and choose either charts or tables. Okay, I know I said don't link tables into your PowerPoint presentations, but I'm willing to make an exception for Zebra tables because you can add a visual element that helps convey your message to the audience reading the presentation. We will stick to charts today as our data would be better represented with charts. All right, we'll pick a variance chart because we have actual and previous year data. Choose this one because I like it the most. And now we see this big blue button, link data to Excel. Click it and it opens up a file explorer and we can navigate to our file. I have it here on the video demo. And when we open the file, we can see that the Explorer found two table objects in Excel and two data ranges we can use to link our data. And of course, just like we said, we always try to use a table object, so we are going to choose this table one. We're gonna fetch the data and just like magic, we have an actionable reporting chart right here for us to use. Let me just scale it down so it looks a little better move it to the side and now let's see the difference. This is before and this is after. I guess you'll agree with me that we know exactly where we're above planned and where we're under the plan. Just from this one visualization. But that's not all. The next time your data changes or updates in Excel and let me just go in here, open it up, add another line of and now save, save my file, go back into PowerPoint, onto my chart, open up chart settings, under chart, click this big blue button, refresh data, and as you can see, week 10 has been added. Just like magic, and just like you would expect it to work. You can try it in the description for free. So with data linking, you now have the option to always have your reports updated at a moment's notice. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click the like button, subscribe, share it with your coworkers, and how about you check out another video from us? Maybe the latest webinar.